All right, let's get right into it here. Market is down about 1.0.16% on the s p looks like nasdaq is up slightly today 0.2 percent semiconductors up 1.3 percent small caps uh got hit today along with the biotech there google's up three percent uh, today looks like uh leading the market here uh and uh yeah some of the tech stocks are up we got the meta up netflix up bitcoin riot mstr see like these guys are down uh, gold is up, silver is up, uh, treasure bond down, VIX popped. Let's stick with the SP 500 ETF. Spider! 65 minutes are here. So, this is where we closed on Friday. As you can see, that's where we closed on Friday. Right? So, we actually gapped up. So that's where we close Friday with the shooting star candle there. We gapped up this morning right here at that all-time high level. As you can see. And this is a this is a level where there's a lot of speculation that's gonna occur where uh you know this could potentially be that double top. But I think by this time around, after what we've seen in the last five months, I'm sure nobody cares about double top. Nonetheless, it is a resistance. It's all time high resistance. Uh, bulls went for it. You see that the upper wick here. Uh, bulls trying to break out, but not able to close on that hour with the bullish candle. We came back down here, so that means that shooting star still in play, right? Because that shooting star was never negated, or it was never, uh, you know, nullified, right? For it to be nullified, we needed to see a uh bullish candle on the first hour and with that you see the follow through on the second hour we blew through the micro term as you can see right here blew through the micro term and that's the second hour third hour you can see on the third hour you see that lower wick here bears trying to break it to the downside and obviously there is a rising option support uh, right on this there here there obviously the market is aware of this level right and that's why it's been hanging out above this rising uptrend support the entire day you see those lower wicks definitely uh not able to close on an hourly basis that candle on a closing basis, as far as the body is concerned, not the wick, because the wick is the flu uh, fluctuation in the intra hour, but on a closing basis, each hour, uh, bulls were able to make sure we, we close above the rising option. So that's why you can see on the fifth hour, we're just right on it. We close right there. And then on the sixth hour, another fluctuations. But you can see we, we close above the rising option support, but we close just right underneath the micro term, which means so that's that's kind of been the battle today. Uh, Bayer's trying to reprogram that micro term to act as resistance. Bulls are just really relying on that rising option support to stay afloat. So this going into tomorrow, I think. As far as the micro term is concerned, and what's going to happen tomorrow, I think first two hours is probably going to give us a story for the entire day tomorrow. We stay above the micro term here, we gap up above it, and we hold that gap. At least we don't get underneath that gap in the first hour or two. I think we can then uh, kind of assume that we're going to have a green day tomorrow. If we lose the uh, rising uptrend support, we lose the in that that you know micro term act as resistance. Uh, then we can actually can see that next level support is not until five twenty, which is a gap area right here, the up gap area. All right, that's gonna be the next support. So if we lose this, uh, probably going to five twenty. If we uh, make some move to the upside, going back to retest five twenty four or so to that um all-time high level check out that oscillator
So as you can see, um, what I really want, first of all, we, we you know, uh, the oscillator did cross down. It is rolling over. So it is favoring the sellers going into tomorrow. So there's a little bit more bearishness. Uh, what we can see right on that, right on that uh, micro term. So we got the micro term. Currently, I would have to say the micro term is sort of neutral, it, it, depending on how it's going to, uh, you know, open up tomorrow morning and how it's going to trade in the first two hours. But the oscillator is definitely telling us, hey, you know what, it, it's a bit heavier here. There's a possibility because the last time when we saw that uh, oscillator cross down, uh, there's a little bit of bounce on the micro term, but then inevitably it didn't really ting. I mean, it moved sideways and came down, but we like because of that oscillator was like weighing it down, the bulls just were not able to make that upside move. Not until we see that cross up and then and then finally we had that one you know nice bullish hour that's it and then it just moved sideways just wasted all that energy because like we saw that one upside first hour and that that happened when the oscillator is still pretty fresh it was in the almost like in the middle in the band so that means there was energy left to make another thrust but it wasted the energy entirety of that oscillator going into the overbought by just moving sideways but what i really want to talk about what I really, really want to talk about is this. As you can see, looking at last month or month and a half of price action here, that oscillator been oscillating back and forth, right? Just perfect oscillation up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up for a month and a half, month and a half. Um, so there's a great chance that it could continue, right? It could continue, but if something were to change and that, that's that's when you got to pay attention right and what you have to pay attention is something because the market sort of moves in a trend and and it's gonna sort of repeat things and then something changes like it does something that has not done before that's when you know something uh something has changed in a matrix and something could potentially happen something that we haven't seen so what i wanted to talk about is because the way it closed today, right, was right on that, uh, just right on that uh, rising uptrend support. So if we do see that micro term hold or the rising uptrend support hold, let's say that holds and we see a like up gap or something like that tomorrow. And we, we see a up gap, upside move tomorrow morning and we see continuation throughout the day. Let's say we see a bullish day tomorrow and the oscillator crosses up. Let's say it crosses up in the middle of his band because when was the last time looking at your screen right now when was the last time we saw that oscillator crossing in the middle of his band you can see last time we saw that was here right if you look at this that was back in early february so it's been two months. We have not seen that oscillator os uh, you know, crossing back up in the middle of his band. When it did do that, back in February 6th or something like that, we can see market gapped up. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So it stayed almost like close to about four days three to four days four days we saw a bullish run above the micro term when we did see that oscillator um crossing the middle of his man again we have not seen that the entire month and a half so if we don't see the oscillator oscillating back uh, you know crossing back up tomorrow we lose that right, current rising option support that blue, you know, that purple dotted there, then we're just going to go back to this, this cycle of just up and down, right? That's, that's we're just going to continue. We don't know when. But if something changes, if something changes, we see a gap up, very similar to maybe like here. If something changes and we oscillator uh, gets back up or, you know, it crosses back up. And I think today's Monday, so we could potentially see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, maybe throughout this week, that we could potentially see a run. Perfect. That could last 
several days. I'm gonna come back for you. We'll reassess the situation. Asian injury evening will train tomorrow.